The Wyeth name has certainly traveled far from Needham. For a little over a century, three generations have continued an artistic legacy. But they may have overshadowed one man whose own contributions to the town are still celebrated to this day. N.C. Wyeth's grandfather, Dennis Zerngibel. Zerngibel was a botanist in Switzerland, in the area around Bern and his land got taken by the Swiss National Railways. So he emigrated here, we believe around the 1850s, and moved to Cambridge, where he worked for the Harvard Arboretum as a botanist. But in time, he wanted his own business. So he looked around for a place that had land, and he settled on Needham, and he bought this large plot of land on the Charles River, and he opened his own nursery business. The product that he is most closely associated with is what he called the giant Swiss pansy. The garden pansy that we now associate with April and spring and obviously with Needham. The wild pansy, the viola, is a little flower, usually purple and yellow, called the Johnny Jump Up. They self-seed, they're like little weeds that grow all in your yard, they're quite pretty. But um, he took those and crossbred them so he could not only increase size, but additional colors. We think of pansies as coming in all sorts of colors. Originally, they were just purple and yellow. But the giant Swiss pansy was his patented premier product. And not only the pansies, but his nursery output in general, both live plants and seeds. He sold these all over the country. He sold pansies specifically to the White House, to the State Department. Plants and seeds were shipped as far as California on the railroads. He had essentially a nationwide business. Zerngibel's legacy lives on in the celebration of Pansy Day, held annually by the Needham History Center and Museum. We are coming up on what I believe is our 40th annual Pansy Day. The request was made to the select board to designate April as Pansy Month and to designate the pansy as the official flower of Needham, which was granted in the early 80s. My grandfather, Stimson Wyeth, was Dennis Zerngable's grandson. He's the one who would have remembered him. And to prepare for today's interview, I went back to my basement and looked through some boxes of papers and found some speeches that my grandfather had actually given about the life of N.C. Wyeth in the 1960s, one of which was to the Needham Historical Society. He said, my father's heritage was not along artistic lines in any aesthetic field. My mother, on the contrary, came from the romantic Swiss stock of a florist botanist father and a sensitive temperamental mother. Our interest in birds and flowers and all growing things about us was encouraged by our grandfather. His large greenhouses were next door to our house and we boys were frequently pressed into service to help in his outside gardens which stretched down the sunny slope to the river. It's my perception that the Zerngable side of the family, based on what you just heard, is the artistic side of the family, where the Wyeth side of the family, A. N. Wyeth Jr., Sr., they owned straw and hay businesses. They were agricultural, they were practical, they were tradespeople. Do I feel that Dennis Zerngebel and that family name gets superseded by the Wyeth name? Sure. How often is it that we mention Dennis Zerngebel without saying, and he was the grandfather of N.C. Wyeth? And I think one of the reasons that the Revitalization Trust Fund is doing this presentation is I think it reclaims him, you know, his own achievements, which were important as well, not just because he was the grandfather of N.C. Wyeth, but dynasty of Wyeth painters, but because he had his own accomplishments that were, that were notable and were important. <laughs>